Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Melissa. If you are new here to my channel, thank you very much. And if you are coming back, again, thank you very much. So, I'm an outfit repeater. Uh, I just filmed a unboxing video for BoxyCharm and I was kind of disappointed in the boxes. I mean, they were great, don't get me wrong, not my favorite, but there was like kind of no makeup. So, hence why I have no makeup on my face. But, I am coming at you today with a Sephora haul. Like, look how big this box is and it's pretty heavy. Does it say the weight? No, okay. But it's pretty heavy so I just put this order in on Wednesday afternoon and this order was delivered to me within 24 hours like how fabulous is that Amazon can't even get me stuff that fast like 24 hours and I had my whole order like amazing so anyways I do love Sephora so I went a little cray cray and uh, I think I spent like 1200 bucks I think it was about 1200 bucks on Sephora. So I've already cut the box open and taken out the, the packaging paper, but let's go through what I got at Sephora. So, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Just because the receipt doesn't show any pricing, I am gonna pull up my order on Sephora. Uh, let's just see here, let me go to Sephora. Where's my app? Sephora. Okay, let's pull up my account orders. I think this will show me pricing. Hold on, it's loading. Okay, so view details. Uh, yeah, it does, okay, perfect, excellent. Okay, let me, I'm just gonna check one more thing here. Uh, Sephora. Canada. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go through what I got in my box. I'm very excited about everything I got. Um, I hope you made some good choices because uh, some of this is renewing some products that I already had that I love that I need to buy again. And then some of this is new stuff so let's go through the box and see oh I'm gonna put my phone on silent let me do that because you know it's gonna go off um, let me just reply to this real quick power couple there we go okay so let's start with what's on the top so one of the first things and this is something I do love it is a repeat it is the Sunday Riley Power Couple. So this here is two products. Sunday Riley is fantastic for skincare. And if you don't know, I am a skincare junkie. Like, I love my skincare. Like, I love makeup, but I really love my skincare. So this here comes with two products. So it comes with the Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment and then the Luna Sleeping Oil. So this is obviously to be used at night. Uh, let me open it up here. So there is um, a lactic acid treatment and an oil. So I bought this before. So the only thing I found was that this lactic acid, I went through this twice as fast as the oil. So I still have half a bottle of the Luna sleeping oil and I'm out of lactic acid. So that'll lead me into my next product. But this here was 107 Canadian. Um, it lasts I want to say the lactic acid did last me, I think, three months, and I'm still working on the Luna oil. So I've just been using the oil at night with the rest of my skincare. I haven't had the lactic acid. But this stuff here works amazing for your skin. So I'll just read you the back, but let me tell you, it's amazing. So the Good Jeans is a multitasking targeted lactic acid treatment, rapidly exfoliates and boosts naturally youthful irradiance while visibly reducing the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and dark spots. High potency, purified grade lactic acid exfoliates dull, pore clogged, dead skin cells to instantly clarify and reveal smoother skin. I can attest to that. Uh, like every morning I'd wake up and my skin would be baby soft like it's never been as soft as this like I can't believe it every morning my skin is like I have good skin to begin with like very clear skin and I don't have large pores I have very minimal pores like you can't see them um, and I've used treatments I've tried so many different things 
this stuff I will buy until they no longer make it. It is one of my have to have nighttime skincare routine, both steps. So the Luna Sleeping Oil, it's pretty cool, it's blue. Um, so it goes on blue and then when you rub it in, it goes clear so that way you know you've gotten it all rubbed in, which is pretty neat. So the Luna, uh, Luna works throughout the night to deliver visibly youthful, luminous, even toned skin in the morning. Transretinotic acid ester complex reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while visibly improving the signs of premature aging, fine lines, uneven texture, age spots, dryness, and dullness. Balanced with blue tansy, that's actually what makes it blue, and German chamomile essential oils, both rich and soothing, blue azulene, visible visible redness and the signs of sensitivity are neutralized for a calm even toned complexion so even though I've just been using the Luna sleeping oil my skin hasn't been as like baby smooth without the lactic acid uh, but the Luna does does do a wonderful job my skin does feel really nice in the morning as well um, but this is definitely a go-to in my nighttime skin routine I do do a few steps so I'll, I'll do a video on that one day morning and night uh, not to get into all of that right now, but this is amazing. Definitely, definitely recommend. And the product sizes, let me just open that up again. The product sizes are really good. So I think this set, the lactic acid lasted me about three months, maybe two and a half, three months. And I still have half a bottle of the Luna left. So that being said, then I thought to myself, huh, well, I went through the lactic acid a lot quicker than I did the Luna. So if I buy another power couple kit, I'm still gonna have more Luna than I do lactic acid. So then I thought, da da! Let me just look at the price on this. So I bought the full size lactic acid. It was not cheap. Sunday Riley is very expensive skincare. So let me just scroll through the app here. Hey, it's not showing me everything on my order. Oh, here it is $162. So this is the full size of the lactic acid. So let's open that up here. There we go. That's the full size. So it is 50 ml, 100 or sorry, 1.7 fluid ounce. That's the full size. The mini, let's see, the, the Good Jeans Mini is half a fluid ounce, 15 ml. So this is gonna last quite a long time. So I was thinking I should probably run out of Luna before I run out of this bad boy. So as I mentioned, definitely a staple in my nighttime routine. So next. Oh, okay. Okay, this I'm really excited for. Um, so right now, I do have some skincare that I've tried out. It, it works really good. I'm not complaining about it, but I wanted to step the game up. I, like I said, I am a skincare junkie. I love my skincare, and I am super petrified of aging. I don't want to look old, ever, ever, ever. Like, it's just something that really bothers me. I'm like kind of OCD about it. So I went a little bougie and decided to treat myself. And uh, let's see here, which one do I want? I want this one first, right? Yeah. I bought some Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the Magic Cream. This retails for $125. So let's open it up. I, you know, had to open it up last night, but uh, it did come with a little sample on top of the, the Magic Serum, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. So this is the daytime moisturizer, the daytime cream. So it's got um, a nice, really rose gold lid and nice glass packaging. It, it's super bougie. So there is the cream there, excuse me, there's the cream there. So I'm just gonna take, oh, it's really thick. I just smelled it last night because I wanted to wait to get my first impression of swatching it with you guys. So it smells like skincare, it smells very fresh, very clean, goes on like butter. Like my skin is soaking that up. Like I cannot wait to finish my current skincare that I'm using to start using all the Charlotte Tilbury stuff I bought. But this is the daytime cream. So let me read you what the box says and uh, one of the reasons why I bought it. I've been mixing my own magic moisturizer for years. Born backstage and known as Charlotte's Magic Cream, it helps revive and transform the appearance of celebrity and supermodel skin. Hello, celebrity and supermodel skin. I'm in, you didn't have to say that twice. 
It is my award-winning, research-powered secret recipe developed with some of the world's leading laboratories to cushion your skin in moisture for hydrated, glowing, plumper looking skin. That is me, right there. That definition, me, 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 me. So I know it has hyaluronic acid in it. Um, I'm not gonna go through the entire ingredient list with you, but basically it says apply cream to face and neck using my Tilbury Tap facial technique. So I'm gonna have to Google that because I, I don't know what the Tilbury Tap is. But um, the nice thing about this is when you finish the package, what did I say, it was 125? Where is it? Yeah, 125. When you finish this, you can get a refill. It's a little pot that you just pop in the glass jar. So you're not buying the whole packaging again. So first of all, great for our planet because we're not using as much um, material and enough, uh, so much packaging. But you just get the little pot and it's cheaper. I think if that's 125, I think the refill's 100. So you're saving a few bucks instead of continuously buying the product at full price. So that's the day cream. Well, I couldn't just have the day cream. I had to buy the night cream as well. So this is, oh, backwards, the magic night cream. So I opened this one up last night too, just to get a look. And I really like that the lids are different. So this is a deep, like her signature color, which I guess would be, what color is this? It's dark, it's uh, burgundy, I guess. So you can tell the difference when they're sitting out on your vanity. The night cream has the rose gold bright light lid and the night cream has the deeper burgundy lid. So you can tell the difference. But this is the night cream. So it's much thicker. The day cream is still very thick, but this is much thicker. Um, so I just feel like a night cream should be like super thick. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this and I'm gonna pop this on the back of my hand. So let's put it down here, oh. Oh my gosh. The, like, I don't know. So it smells, again, very fresh. It really doesn't smell like skincare, like the daytime moisturizer, it smells like skincare. And I love skincare, so I have no problem with that. This just smells a little bit, like it's very faint, a little bit floral, but it, again, it just smells like skincare, like super duper amazing, expensive skincare. So this one here says, same thing, apply to face and neck using the Tilbury Tap. So there is, oh, it gives you the steps. So complexion lift, start from the lower cheek, sweep, sweep sorry, sweep cream out and up. Tap fingertips across cheeks, avoiding eye contour. Two, define contours. Place fingers under cheekbones, smooth outwards and upwards along the cheekbone. Three, define the jawline. Gently pinch chin with fingers, moving up your jawline in one sweeping motion. Four, smooth furrows. Starting in the middle of the forehead, massage in circular motions, moving out to the temples. Pat excess with your ring finger. So I guess that's the Tilbury tap method. I'm still gonna like YouTube it just to make sure I'm doing it right. But this one here, um, I think this has hyaluronic acid in it. Let me see here, does it say anything? Nourish your skin with the, this powerful cocktail fused into a rich plump effect cream elixir formulated with plant derived stem cells, vitamin E, coenzyme and retinol. Yeah, it has retinol. Bathe your skin in the fountain of youth whilst you sleep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on that. That's all you had to say, Fountain of Youth. And it's Charlotte Tilbury, so hello. Oh, my phone turned off. So, of course, that's not the only step in Charlotte's skincare routine. I had to get the Magic Serum, the Magic Crystal Serum. Look at, like, I just love her packaging. It just looks expensive. It looks bougie. It's thick cardboard. Like, it just feels luxurious. So, I got the Magic Serum Elixir. This one I didn't open, so, oh, it's in a dropper bottle, okay. So again, glass packaging, super nice. I do love the detail on the bottom. That's really cute, just the way it looks when it's gonna sit on my vanity. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to look in my viewfinder to see how it's showing up. So it's just got this like little cut in detail here. So you can see that there. So this one here, this is the Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. So I had to get this as well because I love serums. So this one here, uh, a supercharged crystal infused resurrection leaf magic plexium serum for glowing, hydrated, youthful looking skin. So right there I was sold. So it's clinically proven to reduce the appearance of wrinkles by 34% and firm the appearance of skin by 49%. So over 90% of users saw skin appears firmer, 
pores appear tighter and more refined. That won't affect me because I don't have visible pores. Facial contours appear lifted. Lines and wrinkles appear reduced. And skin feels intensely hydrated. So I don't know if you guys know I have dry skin. So I go for all the hydration that I can. Like if it says hydrating, I'm trying it. So this sold me right away just because first of all it was Charlotte Tilbury and it goes with the day cream and the night cream. But when I read up about it, I was like, yeah, I have to have that. So it says massage a few drops into clean skin morning and evening before your magic moisturizer. So serums always go before moisturizers anyways, but um, this is going to be in my morning and night routine. So I know I'm going to go through it twice as fast as the creams, but that retailed for $100. These are all Canadian prices, by the way, because I did get them from Sephora Canada. Okay, so next, oh, a hair product. I, this is the only hair product I got, right? Yeah, okay. This is the only hair product I got. So it's the Orbe Gold Lust uh, Nourishing Hair Oil. So I've heard really good things about this. Um, as you guys can see, I have really long hair. So I like to put oils in it to keep the bottoms very hydrated instead of getting dry because I do color my hair as well. I do bleach it. So here's the packaging here. This was 70 bucks. That much I know. Let me just double check. 70 right yeah 70 dollars very expensive for an oil but really you won't use a lot of it at a time so this bottle is going to last you quite a while um the youtuber that sold me on it was taylor Wynn. she's changed her name a few times but taylor Wynn has really long super beautiful hair and she swears by this and she thinks this is helping her hair grow stronger and longer so i did pick some up um let's have a sniff oh it's very pleasant it's just got a very pleasant scent. It's not powerful and strong, like overpowering. It's just a very light, pleasant scent. I wonder what that smell is, because it smells really good. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna try that. So I only put oil in my hair after I've washed it and dried it. Um, I don't put hair in my, or I don't put hair in my hair. I don't put oil in my hair when my hair is dry. I put it in when it's wet and then I blow dry it and then I style it. So next thing, uh, oh, okay, so Glow Recipe. This is actually the skincare line that I'm using right now. Um, I'm using the Banana Moisturizer, Banana Souffle Moisturizer, the uh, Hyaluronic Acid, the one that looks like um, a plum, and then the, is it called Dew Drops? I think it might be called Dew Drops, the um, Glow Serum. Those are the three products I'm using for from um, this brand. Uh, glow recipe for my skincare right now and don't get me wrong I like it, it it's moisturizing my skin it smells good I, I it's not making me break out or anything which I really don't break out even though I have sensitive skin it's just it's okay it's not it's not my holy grail for skincare um would I use it again absolutely I would I do have a backup of the hyaluronic acid because it came in a boxy term box um I do I do like hyaluronic acid so I'm always going to use the the serum for hyaluronic acid no matter what brand but um it's just it's okay so I wanted to get this because I have the watermelon sleeping mask and I really do like that so this is the watermelon glow ultra fine mist so let me put the lid back on so there's the packaging there so it's going to stand this way on your vanity so I'm just going to give it a spray. It says ultra fine. Whoa. That smells incredible for one, but was the finest mist I have ever seen in a spray. Like that is the finest mist. When it says ultra fine mist, it's no joke. It really is ultra fine mist. Um, so that's just going to, again, hydrate your face, kind of settle everything in. You could use it before makeup if you wanted to. You could use it as a refresher during the day. It's not a setting spray. It's just a mist to re refresh your skin. So what does it say here? Um, doo -doo -doo. So hold closer to face for maximum dewy effect. Use throughout the day. Yeah, use as a makeup prep perfecting mist so it's not uh, it's definitely not a setting spray this facial mist is so delicate it envelops the skin like a morning fog the formula is blended of watermelon hyaluronic acid and hibiscus that refreshes and softens the skin and enhances makeup so there you go I would definitely use it throughout the day um, that's something that I like to do I don't I don't keep putting a setting spray on because a setting spray is a little bit heavier I like a fine mist like one that I do use from time to time is the Sephora Bright Future Instant Glow Mist. 
um, this one here. So it's got a little bit of a shimmer in it. And I use that throughout the day just as a refresher. And I do use the, um, oh my gosh, it's not in here, it's in my, it's in my washroom. Uh, white can, Evian. The Evian um, spring water. I do use that as well just as a refresh throughout the day just to give my skin a little bit more moisture. So that retailed for $37. So, oh, I put I put three things in here that I wanted to speak about. I didn't get them with this order, but I did get two of them with a previous order. So the only makeup that I have in this box from my previous order was I got the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I've never tried this, and I got it in the shade 180. So I have no idea if this is going to be the right match for me. The color looks good in the packaging if this is it. So let's uh, let's see if I can pump some of this out. I keep buying foundation online and BB creams and stuff like that to try to find, oh, I got some, to try to find my holy grail and I can't shade match myself to save my life. So please let this be good. Like the color looks good there. Looks okay. You know what? That color might actually work for me. I could definitely make that work. And it's supposed to be a medium to a full coverage. So I can build it up and then, yeah, that color's definitely gonna work. If I drag it down my neck a little bit because my neck gets really red, um, that color would definitely work. And I think this was $49. So I'm really excited about that. And then I did get the Glowish. I really wanted to try this by Huda. So this is the multi dew Skin Tint in Light Medium. So I do prefer a skin tint, a BB cream, a CC cream over foundation. Just because I find I can shade match myself a lot easier in these rather than a foundation. So let me see here. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be the right color. I got Light Medium for summer because I'm, I'm a little bit darker than I am in the... Oh. Okay, that came out right away, which was nice. This looks kind of dark, guys. So I just put a little blob there. This, uh, this is gonna be too dark for me. Uh, yeah, can you guys see that there? I'll put a little bit more on. Like, it feels nice. It feels very smooth and hydrating and moisturizing but I definitely got the wrong color. That is too dark for me, even, let me just wipe this off. Even in summer with the little bit of sun uh, kiss glow that I do get, um, if you don't know, I am partial ginger and I wear SPF 110 because I literally turn into a lobster in the sun. I don't tan ever unless it's fake and bake or uh, self tanner and I, I just get more freckles and I, I I go red as a lobster. I just burn so easily. So I'm very fair. So I really don't need much difference in my summer shades versus my winter shades, but that's a little too deep for me. So speaking of SPF, now I got this actually out of an Amazon order, but I really wanted to show it. Um, Sephora does not carry this brand. It's La Roche Posay. Jamie Genevieve, if you don't know who she is, look her up. She is a Scottish YouTuber. She owns the makeup brand Vive that launched, I believe it was last year. She is, she's my woman crush. Like absolutely, I love Jamie Genevieve. And she's near home for, from my mom's side of the family where my mom was born. So um, I, I love watching UK uh, YouTubers. But Jamie Genevieve, she has sold me on a lot of products, um, especially Charlotte Tilbury, because I do have the, um, what's it called? The Flawless Filter, right? Hollywood Flawless Filter. I do have that. That gives a beautiful glow to the skin before you put anything on your base. Um, I do have the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, which I got the wrong shade. So I'm hoping Sephora will let me exchange it because I got that during a lockdown period. Um, if you're not from Ontario or even Canada, we went into lockdown quite a few times. So things were not open. You could only shop online. So unfortunately, you couldn't return. So I'm hoping Sephora will let me return some of the, the foundations and stuff I bought that were wrong. Uh, Cause like I said, I can't shade match myself to save my life. So anyways, the La Roche Posay SPF 50. Now I wear SPF on my face every day. Um, I may not put it on my body, like especially if I'm going to work, right? 
So here it is here. It's very, very liquidy, which is great because it's really going to sink into the skin on your face very quickly. It's not going to sit there and build up. Um, like I use Neutrogena SPF 110 and that's a little bit thicker and it sits on the skin and then soaks in, but this is going to soak in immediately. But Jamie Genevieve recommended this. I used to use a unique product called the veil and it's only SPF 30, I think. So I thought, well, this is SPF 30. I'm definitely, or 50. I'm going to give it a, uh, a try because Jamie Genevieve recommends it. So that I'm going to try out when I do my makeup today. Uh, well, I might even not make, wear makeup today, but when I, when I do do my skincare and stuff today after my shower, I'm definitely going to put that on. I will let you know. I'll keep you updated on it, but skincare, you need an SPF every single day, 365. Okay. You need a skincare. So the next few products I'm really excited about. Um, I'm hoping they're gonna be good. So, uh, oh, this on Amazon I think was 39 bucks. So this is a repurchase. Um, I am addicted. I am addicted to the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. For me, it gives me the most moisture. It's so balanced. It smells fantastic. And I love the packaging. I really do. It's just something different. So this is by Sol de Janeiro. So here is, oh, sugar. Okay, well, a lot came off on the lid and some came out on the box. So this is the cream here. It's beautiful. It's amazing for moisturizing. It just locks everything into my skin and it smells fantastic. Like, even if it didn't do shit for my skin, I would still put it on just for the smell. So the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream I've been using for quite a while. I'm just gonna rub this into my arm that I splooged out. So I've been using it for a while. I've gone through quite a few of those. It does last for quite a while because you don't need a lot. A little bit really does go a long way. Um, the smell, if you guys haven't smelled the Bum Bum Cream, uh, like there's, as I've learned, a lot of products in this line that smell like that. Uh, it's like I'm sitting on the beach in Maldives again uh, with a nice fruity drink, something coconutty, a little caramelly with an umbrella in it like it just takes me back to a holiday that I've been on it's just very tropical very beautiful it smells amazing now when I tried that bum bum cream then I had to see if there was anything else so I bought the full-size perfume which was a hundred and thirty I think very expensive then I bought myself the little travel size to keep in the filming room so that way I can do little touch-ups when I'm in here then I bought the body cream. This was all in, not all of it, but this, some of this was in my last order. The moisturizing shower gel cream. I think this is $28, so very expensive for a shower cream. Um, I don't use a lot of it because it's, it lathers up really nice and it has that smell. And I had to try the shampoo and conditioner. So I'm about two thirds of the way through the conditioner, but not very far, maybe, maybe a third through the shampoo. I have really long hair, so I go through a lot of conditioner over shampoo. Like I will use double the conditioner versus the shampoo. So these were $33 a piece. Like I almost shit my pants when I put the order in last month and this is the size that came out. Like you tell me like, okay, if you tell me, where does it say the size? 10 fluid ounce, that means nothing to me. 295 mil, that means nothing to me. I'm thinking like a bottle of shampoo, right? For 33 bucks especially, very expensive, but worth it. This stuff makes your hair smell like, like amazing. Like you just, you smell so good. Like I like to smell head to toe, like Brazilian bum bum cream. I'm addicted to it. Um, I haven't been wearing any other perfumes or conditioners or anything like that. Uh, even like spray ins just because I love the bum bum cream so freaking much. Um, yeah, it, it, the smell lasts in my hair for days because I only wash my hair about twice a week. So my hair still smells on like third day dirty hair like Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So the price of the Bum Bum Cream, that's the large size is $59. So then I thought, well, since I'm getting some more Bum Bum Cream, I'm going to try the dry shampoo. Um, I use the Foxy Bay dry shampoo. I really love it. But I figured, okay, if this... oh. If this can smell like bum bum cream in my hair and I can get an extra day out of my hair. Ooh. Oh yeah guys, it smells like the bum bum cream, 100%. So it's just the Brazilian 
Joa dry shampoo lifts away oil and refreshes with Brazilian kale and clay and rice starch. So I, I do love me dry shampoo and this smells like bum bum cream. I was sold. I had to try it. There is a deodorant, but it was out of stock. So I didn't get that. Um, the dry shampoo is $32. Now, well, how rude. My camera just turned off. I guess I reached the maximum filming time. So I was just talking about the dry shampoo. I'm not sure how far I got before the camera turned off. So it is $32 and it smells just like the bum bum cream. So head to toe in bum bum cream smell. So that is actually called Shirosa 62. Um, that's what the brand is or the, the scent is for the bum bum cream. So then I saw there was a few new scents. So I thought, well, hey, I definitely have to pick these up. Oh, this one's not a new scent. It's still the Chirosa 62, but I got the large bottle. This is the, um, just the fragrance spray. So you guys, it just smells so good. So pistachio and salted caramel spray perfumado hair and body fragrance mist. So this is not going to last as long as the perfume is because that's more of a concentrated scent. This is just something light that's going to linger for a little while. So I had to get that and this was the large size. This here was $46 for 8.1 ounce. So I thought that was pretty good. Then there was two more scents. Now they didn't have these in full size. So I just bought the small size. So I'm really hoping that I like them. But this one here is Chirosa Brazilian Crush Chirosa 71. Caramelized vanilla and macadamia hair and body fragrance mist. So I figure. <coughs> I think choked my mouth. I shouldn't open my mouth. That smells divine like i almost kind of like this better than bum bum cream oh my gosh you guys this smells so good it kind of smells like a little bit like popcorn maybe that's the macadamia holy crap like i wish i could have got this in a big size i'm gonna keep my eye out when i run out of this i'm gonna hopefully find some more in this scent but this is the chirosa 71 Damn, you guys, this might be my new favorite. Like, I gotta see if there's more stuff in this scent. I love that. So that for the small size, which is three ounces, was $26. Then there was this one, the Chirosa 39 Coconut Cream and Toasted Praline. So this would have been $26 too, right? Yeah. So again, this one only came in one size. So let's smell this one. <coughs> Mm -mm. I didn't open my mouth that time, but no, no, oh gosh, this stinks. This smells like cheap ass Walmart stuff. I don't know what that smell is. Maybe it's supposed to be the coconut. It smells awful. Oh gosh. Okay. I do not recommend this the 39 this stinks i'm gonna go back and look at reviews to see if anybody else didn't like this <coughs> wow um oh we're almost at the bottom of the box you guys Ta -da! another skincare item so this is from the ordinary it's the buffet um i usually do get the smaller bottles but this time i went for the bigger bottle because i do really love the buffet i've used the ordinary for quite a long time um so i would get i think i got rose hip oil or, or rose cold pressed uh vitamin c cream brightening serum which like i said brightening serums don't really do too much oh, i didn't even say that to you guys brightening creams really don't do too much for me so that was in another video um i really like the buffet so the buffet here has got a few different things in it it's kind of a, a all-in-one in general so this one has hyaluronic acid amino acids bioderivatives matrixel 3000 matrixel synth 6 sin aki and agrilox i don't know what any of those things are except for the first few um but it visibly targets surface hydration fine lines wrinkles dynamic lines and textural irregularities so definitely a staple in my skincare routine morning and night and that the ordinary is very inexpensive that was $28.10 for this. Like that is definitely worth it. 
The smaller sizes might be, I think they're like 12 bucks. Definitely worth the ordinary uh, for skincare. I really love the ordinary. Now, the last thing I got um, was my free little gift with purchase. So I picked the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream Body Scrub. I did not see this on the website for purchase. So, oh, and it smells just like the Bum Bum Cream. <sighs> like if I could like literally dunk myself in a vat of this scent, every day i would instead of having to do all these multiple steps this is my favorite smell like my absolute favorite smell i love it so much so this is just a body scrub and i believe it's sugar right i don't like the salt ones because they tend to dry out my skin and i already have very dry skin with ultra fine sugar crystals and crushed cupasau seeds i don't know what that is cupasau Okay, but there's some crushed seeds in there, but it is a sugar scrub. So I got the little trial as my little free gift for my order. So I'm definitely excited to try that. So that one, like I said, um, I can't give you a price on because that was just the trial size of 20 grams. They didn't have that for purchase. I did not see that when I was looking. So that was my little Sephora haul. Like I said, I think that was about 1200 bucks. Uh, I think that's what I spent uh, with tax and everything. So that's it for me for today and i hope you like this little sephora haul please give it a thumbs up if you like things like this just to see what people are purchasing or especially me because uh, it would just be me on my channel so if you like to see purchases so that way maybe you can get some ideas of things to try for yourself and i can give you reviews on it just let me know thumbs up that would be great lets me know you like these videos and if you could subscribe if you haven't already that would definitely help out my channel and thank you very much guys i'll see you in the next one bye